Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Helena and I'm a fourth year medical student. In this vlog, you'll be seeing what I got up to in my obstetrics and gynecology rotation. Firstly, I'll explain briefly what is obstetrics and gynecology, also known as OBS and gyne, ONG or OBGYN. OBS and gyne is a medical specialty that involves two subspecialties. Obstetrics covers pregnancy and childbirth, whereas gynecology covers the health of the female reproductive system. Okay, let's get straight to the vlog. Enjoy! Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday, and I've got placement today. So I'm going to the maternity ward in a bit. And I was told that there might be a C-section today, so I might get to watch a C-section. And that would be good, that would be my third C-section this week. But hopefully this time I get to scrub in. Part of my sign-off is to scrub in and watch um, deliveries as well, whether it's C-section or vaginal delivery. I also got to see how they do newborn examinations or newborn infants, physical examination after a c-section that was really good and also my placement partner got to cut the umbilical cord and it was like oh, this is, it's just too sweet i was just like <laughs> just a beautiful moment i know to some people this is probably not really fascinating but so i got to like clean the baby once the baby was delivered and put like a little hat on the baby that was just like oh my god so tiny and <laughs> also listen to the heart rate and the birth of a child it was just just amazing basically <laughs> so yeah let me get ready so i'm actually i'm basically ready i'm already in my scrubs and just need to pack i've had my breakfast i've learned my lesson from a previous time that was in theater um, like in theater or like surgery to always eat this was like in year three actually so i was supposed to be in theater for like let's say like an hour or two but then i ended up being there for hours because i watched like i think it was a hip replacement and there was something else as well basically a long procedure and i didn't have breakfast and by the time i left it was in the afternoon basically like not sick but i was dizzy because i guess like i didn't eat and i also was a bit dehydrated too so i've learned my lesson regardless if i'm not hungry in the morning just have something to eat like a snack or just something at least and also make sure i'm well hydrated too because that experience was weird like it felt like i was a, like the room was spinning i was about to drop it, it was not funny basically so i've learned my lesson from that yeah so i'm talking too much i've just looked at my camera it's like basically nearly three minutes i've never been talking so i'm going to what am i gonna do finish my tea first yeah i'm gonna finish my tea and then um, i'll head out basically and i'm just hoping i can watch the c-section and scrub in and also like i've got several things to do i think there might be outpatients today as well i'll see but I want to watch the C-section first and hopefully I'll still have time um, for the outpatients as well. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm all dressed up. I need to get a net, something to cover my hair. And <laughs> this is my scrubs, they're, they're huge. I'm so slim. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys later on before I miss the C section. Bye, guys. today is a vlog today is actually saturday the 30th of april and it's a saturday but i'm going to uni 
and not because like I have something scheduled at uni but I'm going to practice some clinical skills I know on a Saturday but you know I'm a medical student and sometimes my weekends are pretty much studying unfortunately but you know really and truly I want the soft life but I'm just like medicine is not really you know allowing me to you know have the soft life but it's cool it's cool mm. so today i'm going to uni because i'm going to practice some examination for my oskies that will be coming up in july because tomorrow is the first of may exams are creeping up like exams are slowly creeping up now <laughs> i still have wait, have may june a bit of july so let's say two and a half months so much to do i have so much work to do i don't really understand how but like so much to do luckily i finished my dissertation so i'm just waiting for my feedback from my tutor so I had to do a dissertation which was um so the word count was between six thousand and eight thousand words which was better than my undergrad before for biomedical science i had to do ten thousand words and that was and not even just 10,000 words, I had to do a project as well. Like, this was easier to be honest. This is kind of just like a review basically. I think I mentioned in one of my vlogs what my dissertation was about, but basically it was about childhood obesity and looking at the long-term complications, um, how it would have effects on public health in general. Yeah, so looking at childhood obesity more specifically in the UK. I actually picked the topic myself, very random basically, but it was very interesting, but I'm glad that's out of the way you know push to the side i've got exams to focus on but if the deadline is next week or the 9th of may i'm just hoping my tutor is not going to give me a lot of things to correct because i just want to submit it and get that out of the way um and just focus on other things really yeah so i'm going to practice some oski examination and just taking a few things with me so like my laptop my ipad some books and things that i need just you know stay tuned hope you guys enjoyed this vlog don't forget to like share comment and subscribe hopefully i won't forget i'm vlogging that will actually take you guys through my day well just to let you guys know though it's actually what time is it it's like 407 right now so the day is it's not over but it's pretty much heading to the evening so as you can tell this is probably gonna be a long day yeah a long day um so i'm thinking i should probably eat before i leave the house and yeah i should probably eat before i leave because i think it's gonna be a long day and then um i'll talk to you guys later on bye guys So like I mentioned before, for my fourth year, I had to do a dissertation. So I was just finishing it off and then later on I submitted my dissertation. Here I went to clinical skills and practiced some examination using the mannequin. As you can see here, I'm inflating the model. It's pretty cool because it's got a model fetus where you can feel the position of the fetus. That. 
in this clip here, I am measuring the fundal to pubic symphysis height. And this is pretty much the top of the uterus all the way to the region known as the pubic symphysis. As the fetus progress, the uterus expands into the abdomen. After 20 weeks of pregnancy, the fundal height measurement would usually match with the weeks of the pregnancy. So for example, if a woman was 26 weeks, the fundal height is most likely to be 26 centimeters, although this is plus or minus two centimeters. So this could range from 24 to 28 centimeters. So next I'm using this equipment called a Pinard fetal stethoscope, and it's used to listen to the heart rate of a fetus during pregnancy. However, in practice, most doctors, nurses, or midwives use an ultrasound. Next, this is a speculum, and it's a instrument used to examine the vagina and the cervix. And there are different types, but this one in particular in this clip, is a disposable speculum, and it has two valves. So this brings me to the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.